Okay, a stump speech for Newt Gingrich, what he should say. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to me. Please fire President Obama and hire me to be president because most Americans would like to be richer and are afraid of being poor or slammed with poverty. So when I was speaker, third ranking in the country, I took a budget that was not balanced and balanced it. President Obama took a budget that was not balanced and made it worse. The economy did okay, millions of new jobs when I was pre speaker, sorry. Um, under President Obama, the economy collapsed and now we have a jobless recovery, the longest period of unemployment above 8%, which since the Great Depression and his stimulus bill was supposed to keep it under 8%. Um, and get it down to 6% by now. Um, and when I was speaker, we I worked with the Democrats to get welfare reform through. President Obama jammed through Obamacare on a party-line vote with the help of the Nebraska Purchase and deeming, and we'll see what's in it when once we've passed it, garbage. So fire him and hire me. We cannot trust him with the economy. We cannot trust him or Ben Bernanke, for example, with prices. Um, when Bush was president, gas ended up 189 a gallon. Under President Obama, it's about double that right now. And he told our Canadian friends not to build this pipeline, sell your oil to the Chinese um, across, and which is strange environmentalism, shipping it across the ocean, bu building a pipeline across the Rockies instead of running it down here. Um, um, we cannot trust Obama with prices. These washcloths. You could buy 30 of them for $5 when Bush was president. Now only 20 for $5. The price has gone up 50%. <clears throat> so for prices, um, we make Ben Bernanke with the dollar compete with the gold standard. If you want to do deals in gold or in some foreign currency, um, we'll allow, say, a 1% surtax to give the dollar a little help. But you can do it that way when Ben Bernanke or uh, any other bureaucrat has to compete on a level playing field, he's a human being. He can compete, but we have to make him compete, and we will. Um, so we won't even have to trust him or President Gingrich with the dollar, because the dollar will have to compete with gold and silver and foreign currencies. So we don't have to fear poverty from prices creeping up, because you can prices, you can find something where prices are level. <clears throat> Again, President Obama's first big order of business was the stimulus bill that was supposed to keep unemployment under 8%. As soon as it was passed, it went over 8%, of course. But he should have known it would be worthless, because all the stimulus... Despite the size of his deficits, a majority of the stimulus dollars were paid from taxes, so every stimulus spending here was paid for by a, a dollar taken from someplace else. You have a stimulus here and a de-stimulus there. No net effect. Worthless. Or he borrowed it. So a dollar borrowed here for the stimulus is a dollar not borrowed by somebody else for something else. No net effect. Worthless. The other, or he had Ben Bernanke print the dollars. So every dollar of stimulus here, the dollar in your pocket, is worth a little less. Worthless. And besides, President Bush had been running huge deficits, and they hadn't saved the economy. The stimulus deficit is worthless. You cannot trust President Bernanke. President Bernanke. Maybe he thinks he is. Uh, <coughs> President Obama with the economy. We need to take it out of their hands. Fire Obama and hire me. <laughs> the, um, so th that's my resume. A, a balanced budget, bipartisan work, uh, an economy that flourishes. You can, you know, my ex-wives may not trust me, but for doing the job of president, I have the resume. I have done this job before. I can do it again. President Obama cannot do it. Fire him. <clears throat> He's a millionaire. It won't hurt him. Uh, I can save a little bit by cutting off his pension since he doesn't need it, but um, that's a small change. Um, 
Now, of the other leading candidates, um, Romney, Governor Romney, his political resume is Romney Care. He's been trying hard to run as a conservative, but it doesn't quite click. And because of Romney Care, he's, re he's done a lot of flip flopping, mostly for the better, so he needs to repudiate Romney Care. That would help him. Um, what electability. Now, I brought in the first GOP Congress in 40 years. I know something about electability that Senator Dole and Senator McCain, who lost, don't know. Um, it takes some conservative enthusiasm. I can generate that. Governor Romney, for all his serious effort, can't. He'd, he'd be good. Um, he knows about reorganizing companies. He'd be good to put in charge of a department that we're going to close down, reorganize, sell off or move the useful bits someplace else, Secretary of Education, Secretary of Energy. Um, <laughs> he'd be good at something like that. Um, but his political resume is Romney Care, and oh, Romney Care, to put it that way, um, is plain wrong for all kinds of reasons. Let's take three 1%, 99% reasons. Now, first, Oh, Romney Care is such a wonderful program that Obama's cronies want out of it. They want waivers. So about 1% of his cronies have been granted exemptions from his wonderful program. The other 99% of us are stuck with it until it, we repeal it. Um, then another thing, it takes money from you and me. Americans don't want to be made poor, and oh, Romney Care is going to drag insurance money out of our pockets and give it to the 1% of insurance companies instead of giving us all kinds of medical choices so that we ourselves can save money, keep money, um, spend money when we need to. So enriches the 1% of insurance companies, takes money from the other 1%. And then, and this is a problem with most any government program, it takes power from you and me, from the people, and gives it to the 1% of unelected bureaucrats, the liberal aristocrats. Um, we need freedom for everyone, equal laws for all. Um, we <laughs> don't need to be giving power to the 1% in D.C., those are three problems with a Romney care. It's unconstitutional. It, it doesn't work because by covering everybody, he's going to increase demand. He didn't do anything to increase supply. So prices are going to go up. <clears throat> what we need is since in healthcare, we're spending other people's money, we need to in, in, increase the amount that people pay and have freedom of choice over their own health care so that you can put money in a medical savings account for when you really need it and not spend it when you don't. It, otherwise, insurance pays people for getting sick. And when he says that um, Roman Catholics ha have to provide contraceptives, which by their standards they consider wrong, um, now, you may suspect me of using contraceptives, and you may be right, but the government, if they can tell the Pope to supply contraceptives, they can tell Mitt Romney to change his Mormon underwear. They may think our ideas about underwear are better than Joe Smith's ideas about underwear. <laughs> and um, I, I don't care for Mormon underwear. It's not fireproof, but he has the right to wear it as long as he lives. Although, in the realm of flip-flops, there are improvements. If, if, if he were to repudiate Mormonism, which I understand would be hard for him since he's invested millions in it and since his father, whom he wants to, rightly wants to honor, was a Mormon. Um, but he could repudiate Mormonism. That would make him more conservative. It would help. So we cannot trust o Obama with D.C. bureaucrats with our health care. So fire him and hire me will increase freedom so that y you and your neighbors can make their own health care cuts and save the money and keep the money instead of having you have to pay the insurance company and the only way you can spend your own money or your neighbor's money is if you get sick. Um, another problem with this contraceptive mandate <laughs> besides the tyranny that the government should be protecting liberties instead of telling us what to do, um, is that saying something that free, 
that's free, which costs money, is a, a lie. He's telling people to tell lies. Now, lies are the work of Satan. Now, Rick Santorum has gotten into trouble for mentioning the devil. Um, I'm sure my ex-wives believe in the existence of the devil, and forgive me. For, forgive me again. It, it will be hard for them, but if they can, I'd appreciate it, appreciate it when they can. Um, <clears throat> but the devil is the father of lies, and when prices convey information, so when the government messes with prices, the government is telling lies to you and me. Um, we need almost anything the government does messes with prices to some extent, we need to keep it to a minimum so that the truth can go forth and that we can live in accordance with the truth. Uh, evolutionists don't believe in the devil may think that facing up to reality is evolutionarily prosperous. <coughs> we cannot trust a government that says things that cost money are free. We cannot trust it, so fire President Obama and hire me. Now, One way to help average Americans uh, earn more money is to get rid of regulations that stop them. <clears throat> my wife cuts my hair. I'm probably about due for a new one. She does a good job. But in Tennessee, if she wanted to go into business as a barber, she'd have to go to barber school for a year and go up to Nashville and give somebody a haircut in front of the barber board to get a license. <sighs> That's insane. And that kind of regulation, the kind that the Institute for Justice specializes in striking down, we need to get rid of it so that you can do something and earn more money and you won't get in trouble with the regulators. Simplify the tax law so you don't get in trouble with the IRS so that Americans fear poverty. They fear getting slammed for not filling out the paperwork right one way or another. Um, we should have a like an overarching regulation that the regulators can't demand more than an hour a day of your time, can't demand more than 1% of your gross I income, except for really important things like, in this country we drive on the right. If somebody drives on the left, um, we take them off the road and put them in jail, or at least take them off the road. And that kind of immediate life-threatening regulation does need to be enforced. Um, things like unlicensed hair cutters, unlicensed interior decorators, unlicensed coffin salesmen, the courts, I think the appeals court said that the government trying to defend licensing coffin salesmen, that their argument smelled like a dead fish. <coughs> Get rid of that kind of regulation so that people can earn a bit more, be a bit richer, and by their own efforts, without running afoul or fearing running afoul of the government. If you haven't reported income to the IRS, just <coughs> go in and talk to them and work something out. We need the income reported, we need the tax paid, we don't need to come down on you for not filling out the paperwork, and we don't need to destroy your life if you're doing it good productive work. We um, may sell your TV set to pay your debts, but you can live without TV. Read a book. The Bible's a good one. Um, the Book of Mormon is a fantasy novel. Basing a religion on it is like basing a religion on the Lord of the Rings. And anybody who trusts the religion of the Book of Mormon is exercising questionable judgment in that area, however capable and intelligent they may be in general. Mm. So, freedom is what works. Americans want to get richer, and as long as they get richer by serving one another, by selling some, by freely choosing to sell something and freely choosing to buy something, so that both parties end, end up happy or end up, in a sense, richer, that's good. When the government gives, say, barbers or taxi drivers a monopoly, creating the monopoly by law so that some people get richer and the rest are not allowed either to earn money that way, becoming richer as producers, nor to save money by the competition there, becoming richer as consumers by paying less, 
the government is does wrong to create monopolies, and most such monopolies should cease. <laughs> Freedom is what works. The U.S. won the Cold War. Freedom is what works. Competition brings down prices, creates innovation. This educational mess, we need to allow people to send their education dollars wherever they want. Or at least, say, half of their education dollars, say, instead of paying 10000 a year in the public schools, take take $5,000 of that money and go someplace else, leave the other 5000 for the students who are still in the schools. Um, freedom is what works. Now, of course, freedom includes the freedom to fail, and, and that's important. You try something and it doesn't work. You find out that it doesn't work. It doesn't work, so you have to try something else. That's good. Um, Mitt Romney knows it's good. <coughs> um, and let's see, uh, uh, other contenders, Ron, Ron Paul, I mentioned that I kind of agree with him about Ben Bernanke. Uh, another reason we can't trust President Obama, he said, we're going to go over the budget with a fine-toothed comb and clean out all the waste, and his budget goes up by hundreds of billions a year. Um, we'll put uh, Ron Paul in charge of the Office of Management and Budget, and he will employ a fine-toothed comb, and he will find <laughs> that waste, and the budgets will come down. He, in numerical dollars, not just budget cuts, meaning it grows 5% a year instead of 10%, which helps bring Congress and the, Bureau, the government into contempt. <coughs> While we're at it, let's do the fiscal year from January 1st to December 31st and call spending growth slowdowns, spending growth slowdowns instead of budget cuts. <coughs> the people who call them budget cuts do feel squeezed and they do sort of have a point, but let them talk English. So freedom from high taxes, freedom from regulations, freedom from programs that offer at no charge services that we'd prefer to pay something for a better version of. Um, freedom, freedom, freedom. So that we can say with the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last.